Hi and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial and today we're going to be multiplying a four digit number by a single digit and a two digit by a two digit number using formal written methods or the column or vertical methods as most people call it. So first of all on to question one which is 4,364 and we're going to multiply that by 6. And again, we're going to use the condensed method. So, first of all, we're going to multiply the 6 here by the 4 units. That's 24. So we're going to place the 4 in the units and carry the 2 from the 20 into the tens column. And then we're going to multiply the 6 again but by the 6 in the tens column, which is 36 plus the 2 we carried over to make 38. So 8 goes in the tens and the 3 goes into the hundreds column to be used next time. Then the 6 by the 3 which is 18 plus the 3 which is 21 place the 1 in the hundreds and carry the 2 to be used in the thousands. And then finally we're going to multiply the 6 by the 4 in the thousands column which is 24 plus the 2 carried over, which is 26. We'll carry the 2 over, nothing else to calculate, so we place it in the 10,000s column for a final answer of 26,184. And next we move on to question 2, which again is multiplying by a single digit. And we have 8,703, and we're multiplying that by 4. And so, first of all, we're going to multiply the four units here by the three units at the top. So that's 12. I'm going to place the two in the units and bring the 10 over. Then we're going to multiply the four by the zero. So if I have four bags, but it's, they're empty, there's no sweets in, it, in any of them. Therefore, I have zero sweets. So four lots of nothing is nothing but I also need to include the one that I carried over here. So that goes into there. Next, we're going to multiply the four by the seven in the hundreds column, that's 28. So I place my eight in here. I've got to have nothing carried over from previously, so don't need to include that. But I do need to carry my two into the thousands for the next calculation, which is four times the eight in the thousands, which is 32 plus the two, which is 34, for a final answer of 34,812. And next we're on to question three. Now this one's slightly different because this time we're multiplying by a two digit number. I'm gonna break this up for you to, to help you. So, first of all, we have 36, and we're gonna be multiplying that by 24. Okay, so first thing I need to do, just as before, so imagine the two isn't even there, we're going to be multiplying the digits, the black digits at the top by the purple four. So four times six is 24. Carry the two over into the tens. Then the four times the three is 12, plus the two we carried over is 14 and we carry the one into the hundreds, that's the units completed, then I'm going to multiply everything by the two or the 20, because it's, don't forget it's in the tens column. Now, because I'm multiplying not by two, but 20, if we place a magic zero, sorry, a bit of a mess, a magic zero into here, it makes sure that everything becomes 10 times bigger. So just like when we're multiplying and dividing by 10, we need to move our number one space bigger. So it moves over. So what we need to do next is two times the six, which is 12. So we place the two and carry the one over here. Then two times the three, which is six, plus the one we carried over is seven. And therefore we've completed the two tens. 
Then we just need to add these together. So 4 add 0 is 4. 4 add 2 or 40 add 20 is 60. And then 100 add 700 is 800 for a final answer of 864. And finally, on to question four. And again, we're multiplying by a two-digit number, a double-digit number. So, we have 71, and we're going to multiply that by 35. Place our lines in to set out our work nice and neatly. And we're going to multiply these together. So, first of all, we're going to multiply the units here by the, the black 71 at the top. So first of all, five lots of one is going to give us five. Then five lots of seven, 35. Place your five in the tens. Carry the three over into the hundreds. That's our units completed. Then next, we're going to multiply this 30 here. So it's not just a three, it's actually three tens. So we're going to place our magic zero in here to move everything along one space, therefore making it 10 times bigger. So this is our magic zero. And we're going to multiply three by one, which is three, of course. Three times seven, which is 21. And then we're going to add the two together. So 5 add 0 in the units is 5, 50 add 30 is 80, 300 add 100 is 400, and then the 2000s by itself comes down into the thousands for a final answer of 2485. And if it helps, don't forget you can use colours yourself, separate the different parts of the question to different colours, and you can clearly see the different calculations that then need to be added together to give you the final answer at the bottom. I hope this really helps you. Okay, take care, and I'll speak to you again soon. Take care.